Well, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and as you can tell from my messy desk, I'm having a lot of craft and fun today, and I thought I would invite you along. I'm working on filling up this journal, so hopefully I'll give you a lot of page layout ideas, and also it's going to be fun because we're crafting. All right, let's see. These are a few of the different pages that we have. This is like one of those tie things where... You can use like a piece of paper that has like two-sided, uh, you know, images, neat images on both sides. And you just fold it together. And then you can add a little ribbon or something like that and then tie it. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. And then you just tie it up. But you can also use it as like pockets. There could be little tags in there. So that's a good one. And I this is some of my decorated paper so we've got that in there which just makes really good writing space and then we've just got a bunch of pages to to decorate I feel like I don't have uh, that many belly bands although I do have some vellum belly bands in here that I was going to show you Hold on, let me show you that let's do a little flip through first so this is the front page so far there's that little writing space, pocket, um, pockets, pockets, pockets. This is a little flip deal. This is a tuck. So I do have some uh, to find like tags and stuff to go in these. Love this one. That, I have a video on it, but you basically take punched out circles or scallops and fold them over the edge you create little eyelets in them and tow some tie tow some huh tie some baker's twine in it so that's cool um, this one a little flip there some nice music paper this keeps getting caught and i don't know what it's catching on there's nothing yeah, i think it's just a scallop so it's got a little see-through and these fun booklets that I've been working on. There's that. Library card. Okay, that works. And this I just found a cute little children's image and stuck it down with the washi tape. This is one of those booklets I just did in a recent video. There's that. That'll need some tags. Lots of good writing space. A little flip. Secret flip and a pocket. And we've got, this. oh, we've got this tiny little envelope. And then it's got some tickets in it. Put those back and then fold it down. And then it's got some upside down notes I just realized oh there you go upside down real upside down <laughs> and this is a little hinge flip and this I took the washi tape right to the edge and then flipped it over so that actually was kind of a neat neat trick and this has a notepad at the top, another writing space. I don't want to cover this up because it's just, that paper is really pretty. So I've got some open spots here. And this is a neat book page, another neat book page image. And then this is a little pocket, so I'll have to find something to go in here. I was thinking maybe I had some decorated poker chips. And then a lot of writing space here. That's nice. I have an idea for this. I'm thinking I saw something. This is my clusters. Now, my clusters are a little bit full right now. So, oh, I found it right away. I was thinking about this piece as my flip. So that could go right there. I think I'm going to Find my scissors. And I can use that piece. Ooh, 
Yep, that fits perfect. Lovely little floral bit. I know this is the, I always, I'm never sure like what order to do this in. I know some people have like a very strict process, but I'm trying to just do, find the main pieces for a page. You know, some of my pre, it's a nice pocket from a folded page. So the whole page was like, and then I just folded it over onto itself. And there's a book page. This was a rubber stamping thing that I did. I, I uh, followed a tutorial from Lavinia Stamps. And I really like her. <clears throat> this is a little pocket. And then inside it is. And I really needed a tab, but I didn't want to... Uh, cover up the Latin term for butterfly, which is papillions. So I found this tab and it worked out really well. So that, I'm just gonna clip it to the side. And this is my Dutch door. And inside it has a little notepad and that cool image statue, a bookmark. Okay, here we go. This is one of those vellum pockets. So it's just a little piece of vellum. I use washi tape to tape it down. And then this little fun booklet. DeVoe watercolors. It's an old antique image. And then we have a little card here. And we've got the two triangles. This needs clusters, actually. So I kind of filled this up. I did want to show you. So this is just a little booklet, and I added some writing space here. I probably need to cover that, but I'll do that in a little while. So this is the one I wanted to show you that I just had so much fun. So it says a love episode. And then, and it does say comforted by, but I thought when I decorated it, I could make a little story out of that idea of a love episode. So you kind of pull this open and you see a boy and a girl and it says my favorite silly head. And then you see a boy and a girl again and it says laughing and best friend. So that's a little card there. And then this says the love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love till it's given away. And it does have a journaling spot on the back of it. And then underneath here, it just says, he went away but came back again. And then, so then you kind of see over here, you see an older man and woman. And it says, not until. So that's like my little, my little story that I kind of created from that. Which, and that's the back. So that worked out really neat. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I just came together very nicely. All right, so now I'm gonna look for clusters. Flowers, I don't know if flowers is necessarily the way I wanna go. This one's kind of nice. And it's, it'll probably have to be pretty small. That looks nice there. I could actually do a heart on each side, I guess. I mean, if we're going symmetrical, we might as well go symmetrical all the way. So let's do it. Yeah, this is uh, also another video I did on heart clusters. So that's what the video is called, heart clusters. And I love the way they turned out, so. And I have an, a formula for it, so they're real easy to follow how to do it. And then, of course, I did my book sheet, my uh, trifold booklet. So that was good. Oh, this one I really like. So this is uh, Tim Holtz, little a piece of ephemera, and then you flip it over, 
and it was just blank on the other side, but I used another Tim Holtz. So it's like two cards in one and it's got the hinge and then you open it up and there's book pages. So I could have done it and I wish I would have think of it, but I wish I would have like stapled it along the side here and then uh, glued the back one down because then you could, you know, pull it open this way instead of doing this. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just thought, you know, but this is a cute idea too, uh, to do that. So, and then you just got tons of writing space on there. Tons and tons. Um, this, I love these little envelopes and I love this little piece inside. Types of Fair Woman. This paper is from the 18... Uh, 90s from the Muncie's magazine. So, there. And this is a great page layout idea too. So it's one big uh, image from an art magazine and then I just cut it down the middle and put it on both sides. So then you can do, you've got all of this area for, for journaling. Um, I do like that. Another idea for a belly band is just, um, and, well, it's not really an idea for a belly band. It's, you know, hanging an envelope over the side of your belly band. So it's a very old envelope. And this, there's not much back here. A little, but not, not a lot. pocket and nice writing space on the back. I feel like this one needs a little tab because it will get lost in there. Let's put it, let's add a tab. All right, so if we do a tab here, what do we need? Doing a lot of this wallpaper. Oh gosh, that is really pretty. All right, the first one's good. Just go with it, right? That's what we're doing. We're going with it. Super rainy and stormy today. And my um, puppy, Bella, who's not a puppy, but really an old lady, she's struggling today. She got her paw hurt. And I think it's actually more like her shoulder. And I ended up giving her some turmeric for the pain. I guess, and I put it in peanut butter and she ate it right up. So it wasn't like a pill where they eat the peanut butter and then spit it out. So yeah, I gave it to her the peanut butter and she had just passed out. It worked really well. I couldn't believe how well it worked. So yeah, she was quite, quite unhappy before then. That's another neat book page. Died, copy died, and then an envelope, which I must have put this here to go with the green. This is from an old notebook, and it's just, it's yellowed. Oh, really like it. I don't even know if I want to glue anything down. I kind of like it like this, actually. Oh, yeah, the back's fine. We'll just glue it down. Let's do it. You know, it might be fun, and I don't, I haven't done this before, but to just add folded up pieces of stationery in these envelopes that I have, because I have a bunch of them. I'm going to need to use them, but what do I put in them? I just, you know, typically just put journaling cards, but folded up pieces of, and I have a book around here somewhere. I found it. I found it. It's under here. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So this paper is has a really nice yellowing to it. And it would be cool if I just put like three pieces in there, I'm thinking, and folded them up. You know, like you used to, when you used to write letters. <laughs> Some people used to, you know, do that. And just in half, and I like this paper too because it is two-sided. And look at the, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got wonderful like yellowing around the edges. So that's good stuff. So yeah, we're just going to do that. We're just going to fold it in half, pop it in there. Put 
put it like, like this. There we go. Is that close? Oof. Hold it in a little crooked. There we go. It's a pretty envelope too. Okay, that's good. I like that idea too. All right. So now we've got to fill this stuff up. We've got to find things. So I have this. Um, it's nice. I don't know what to do with it. It's not really, it's not like you go, oh, cool. You kind of go, oh, what's that? <laughs> um, so I need to make it do something else, I think. But what? just put it front and center and just well, make it a pocket. So I'm going to glue, well, first I'll turn my pad around. I'm going to glue all over there. Oh, this side too. And no, I don't think I'm going to glue it like a C, C shape. I'm just going to make it so you can go all the way through with whatever ends up in there. So I'll let that dry before we do anything else with that. I could put a cluster right in the middle. Let's do that. It just needs a little something, something else. Not bad. That's pretty good, actually. All right. Okay. It's nice when some clusters all, you know, if you're in the same style and they just kind of look good on everything anyway. So, well, maybe I have some big flowers down here. No, these weren't really supposed to be in here, but now that they are, I could do this. I like that idea where I just kind of, you to see it, you've got to flip it up. Otherwise it kind of hides under there. That's a cute idea. Oh, dropping things today. Ugh. Two times. This time I'm gonna hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that kind of peeks out, and then you can see it when you open that up. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's save those because I'm sure we'll use them. Okay, what else we have? Um, I really like this piece. I think there's so much in here. I don't really mind if this is just like a look page. I know I can overdo the pocket sometimes. I like this little... I, I hoarded this... Uh, border for so long until I finally found something to do with it and then yeah I really like it it's the antiquarian sticker yeah that's pretty I'm gonna pull out my pockets I just don't know about this color if I do a collage on here and cover that up mostly, it will really contrast and do that, these little pink things on it. Tone down the brown. Yeah, that brown has been kind of difficult to... figure out what to do with. It's pretty good. Um, okay. 
And then maybe just another strip across the top. Help it blend together. Because I think it would just be too much work to try and go around that window. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that looks really good. And then, and actually it works out, but I brought out all these bookmarks. Because one of them might even go in here. Why not? And I don't know if this is right for that page either, but... I think that's the one. Yeah, I don't, I wish I knew. I looked for these, but I, I got them at a rummage sale in like a package where they weren't labeled and they were just all like ready to be punched out. And there were all kinds of different um, pocket sizes and it was just really... A neat pack and I've never never seen anything like it again. I don't know if someone was making it like with their Cricut or something like that. That's possible. I still had to punch them all out though. They looked like they were something maybe that was manufactured but I can't be sure. Our bookmarks. Hmm. Oh, it's stuck in there. <laughs> this one. The swing. That's a neat, neat one. How do you like to go up in a swing? Up in the air, so blue. Oh, I do think it is the pleasantest thing ever a child can do. I don't know how I like it in there, so. Oh, this one might work. All right. Not really, but okay, let me add a tab just so it's a little bit, it's kind of hard to grab otherwise. Here we go, tab. Let me use all my tabs. And then what am I going to do? That looks ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes I use that word too much. Um, I like the look of that the best, but is it really going to stay on there? I might have to glue it on both sides. Meaning I'll find another little piece of something. On the back, but what? <laughs> it's fun. Well, the back is got a. I just noticed that the back is looks really cool too. Hmm. So you can kind of go either side. Okay, you're going to have to tell me in the comments if this desk is just too messy to even watch a video. Is it? Is it too messy? <laughs> Feels like it might be too messy. That should just extend it enough to Let's see how it looks this way. Pretty good. Not too bad. We can do a cluster on here. More hearts, because we've done plenty of those. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting idea to just kind of I'm doing it. 
when I imagined pulling out a cluster, that wasn't at all the direction I was gonna go, but I like the brown of the frame here and the brown peeking out there it kind of brings them together. So if I had a small enough one, oh, this is a tag, I could use that. That's some of my plastic fusing. And it's like, you just iron it and you've got a different kind of paper. Okay, what do I have? Something that kind of goes the long way. It's a little more simplistic. I don't know what to think of that. Those are maybe unfinished. <laughs> So this is a true junk journal blob, something blob. I don't know what this is in here for. Hmm. It's pretty. Put it with my scraps. Okay. Um, I feel like these are all just a little bit too much. Too muchy much. I did kind of like this. Let me let me find a flower or a butterfly. Maybe a small butterfly. But Hope this looks good. Sometimes you just need a busy page. There we go. That's busy. Okay. Guys, away. This is definitely like a just add it to a page as a little collage. I don't know. I just like it there. I always question when something's too easy. Like I should have looked for something else. <laughs> but if it works, it works. So there. A thermometer in here. Huh. This one. I'm thinking with some of that turquoise paper. I can find a piece of that that I didn't decorate. Here. Yes. There we go. And then I'll put like some kind of an envelope in there because it has an envelope on it. Which way is up? It goes this way. keep because I might want to use those. Um, something like that. Something like this. Oh, that's really pretty. That looks really nice. Okay. Oh, this is not um, finished yet. It's 
sometimes I just sit and fold and then I just figure I'll glue it later, which is what I did with this one. Especially if I'm out somewhere and I just need a simple thing to keep me occupied. That. Okay. Glue it here. I'll go back and add cards and tucks or, you know, journal cards and stuff, I think, later. Here, we'll do pockets. This is a, this is a fun pocket. Just, just a junk piece folded over. And then you could uh, put some washi tape at the bottom. Here's another bunch. I'm just gonna clamp those together. I like to do that when I know I'm I'm done with a section. Like that? No, that works. Okay. So what we've got here. with the paper clip. There we go. Should I do any more envelopes? It's a pretty one. I like the books. Yeah, and I forgot I was supposed to do belly bands. So I still need to do that. For sure, belly band. And I, I made this like a, mm, what do you call that? I have like a that it can go through, but that turns out that was a problem. So I'm just gonna tape those down. Do it that way.
this can go to here and then trim off the top. And we can glue it down and make it a belly band. Two to add these numbers. For a little extra drama. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Looks good. Okay. Like that. That's on there. I'm going to add a cluster to this one. Something kind of small, lightweight. This one. I like that. It looks very pretty. I don't know how much more I'm going to have to do on this journal but just keep keep it going I think I might do a pocket here this with this one so the envelopes are kind of thick so I'm just kind of making my glue a little wider than I probably normally would. There we go. It's a big journal. Lots of goodies in it. So much. Nice. Okay. I think that's probably good for envelopes. Let's see what other kind of. Oh, you know what I don't have is a lot of um, those fold over both sides kind of thing. Maybe I can use. I had some. I don't know if there's any of those in this one. This might do something like this where it's like a pocket. That's pretty on that side. And this is pretty good too. Hmm. 
Well, if it works, it works. So each side is gonna be, yeah, so I'm gonna do glue down here. And I am gonna do a bead across the top. It would stay in place, but I, or in, the, in that crease, because it's gonna be on the edge of the page where this folds over. So just glue down both sides. And then try to get it in place. There we go. Now this is a pocket. And that's a pocket. Although that's not really going to work as a pocket. That's okay. It's fine. It still looks nice. It can just be the background and I'll add something else to it. But this is a nice pocket here. That just goes way too far down. Some greenery here. I like these. Then you flip them open and you can collage on the inside. Just gonna, oh, look at that. I don't know if I can. The back is too nice. I can do it. I'll do it. It'll be fine. actually really good to put a, a notebook in there. So we'll see about that. At least we've got our oh, I wanted to so this is a fold over also. Just cut this off. I think I had planned on making it like a um, booklet but I think it might be cooler still have a lot of journal space left a lot a lot and I just like this little house and then this one I'll make the pocket this way this time I'll be that's me getting smarter <laughs> Then just put a little here, crease, and then here. And there. And just pulling it down until I match up the crease before I try to get anything else matched up. That's good. And then I'll probably add more to that later. I could definitely do I don't know about that. I'm not I don't know if I like that. Oh this could be a, I wonder if this I could make this into a, a pocket like that. Hmm. And right down at the bottom. I'm going to do that. It's kind of like a belly band. I really love this piece. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites, junk mail specimen cards. That's what that video is. That's what that one is. That's a fun one. This is so pretty. Oh, this could be good for like, I don't think I have any of the, um, what do you call those? Like, mm, paper clip, uh, invisible paper clip deals or mushrooms <laughs> no um but 
I could just do a little corner, like up on the corner kind of deal. That's not, that's not adding anything to that. Hmm. No. I'll just add it right to there and that'll be all that's going to happen on these pages. Just a little corner cluster on one side. Which I think makes sense because this paper, I mean, I don't want to cover it up. That's not what I want to do. This is kind of coming off. Let's put that back there. Okay, coming right along. So, I think we're just about to the end here. We've got lots of different ideas for page layouts. And, you know, once you're putting things in your journal. So, I do love this one. So it's like the doily hinge. <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing. Doily hinge. All right. So I hope you found this helpful. I do have some sales going on in my Etsy shop right now. So if you, ha if you haven't gotten piano rolls, I do have them on sale for a super sale. Really great price right now. You're probably not going to find them cheaper online than what I have them in my Etsy shop right now. I have a Facebook group called Junk Journal tutorials and books so if you want to join us over there we're having lots of shares and ideas things that i don't necessarily share on video if you're interested in seeing more videos you can go ahead and click subscribe and as always thanks for coming along and i'll talk to you later